Um, do I want to watch this video or no? Uh, is it under another video that's out? I look even watch. Let's let's go back to Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like this better, man. Let's back to Stephen A. Smith. First take breaking news. Stephen A's thoughts on commanders hiring Dan Quinn. First take. Let's check out what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Um, I'm gonna just break it down like this for all y'all boys who who haven't heard my opinion yet. Boy oh boy, this makes me sick. I'm tired of my commanders always, always, t always digging our hands in the goddamn trash can and trying to dig, dig up some gold. We got to stop that, bro. Let's manufacture something, bro. Let, let, let's go somewhere else that doesn't in tr involve trash. We always dig it into my my ops um, sloppy seconds every single time. Carson Wentz. Uh, 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 Donovan McNair. Uh, 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 who else? Who, who else? Deshaun Jackson. Uh, who else? Who else? Bro, every single time, I'm tired of it, bro. I am tired of it. Tired. I don't know if you're going to get Caleb Williams or not, but, dog, I just hope we do some great things with that number second pick because our, our last pick that we got number two, he's in San Francisco playing for a goddamn Super Bowl. Now, I know he ain't doing the best, but he out there and he making some things happen. Dog, I just pray my commanders can get on the right path. Dan Quinn, I do not like you. You got to earn my freaking respect. You came from the Cowgirls. What have the Cowgirls done to, to, to gain my respect? Not a goddamn thing. <sighs> Alright, I think that's enough for right now, man. Let's get straight to the video. Yo, Stephen A. Smith, I don't know how you feel about this, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure you think like I think, okay? Let's see the businesses, man. We have breaking news right now I want to get into. From Dallas to D.C., the commanders are <laughs> hiring a defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, as their head coach for <laughs> league. The physical coordinator. The, the physical coordinator. Did, did, didn't Dan Quinn give up how many points to the Packers in a playoff game? How did, did, what, what, bro, why did anybody always want to come to... Oh, you know what? I'm done talking, man. I'm going. I'm about to go on a rant that I don't want to go on. It's a. It's a happy, nice Thursday evening. I want to feel good. I don't want to think about Dan Quinn on my commanders. I had to deal with Ron Rivera. I had to deal with Ron Rivera. I go from Ron Rivera to Dan freaking Quinn. Can you believe it? <laughs> we want to lose for the rest of our lives. I'm gonna be. Huh. Talk to me, man. Talk to me just uh, tweeting this out here. Quinn and Commander GM Adam Peters are the two men now charged with leading Washington into the future. All right, Stephen A. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like Dan bro. Quinn as the hire as head coach of the Commanders. No. Ooh. I do not. I figure. Um, I'm not questioning his football qualifications as a head coach in Atlanta. He was decent. Got him to the Super Bowl. Lost the 28 to three lead with Kyle Shanahan as his offensive coordinator. Yo, how does a head, how do a head coach that went to Subo and folded a 28 to 3, you was up 28 points to 3 in the Super Bowl where all the chips are put in the middle of the table for the taking and you lost that game and you want to be another head, bro, we about to be in a, we about to, bro, Oh my God! Why did we get Bill Belichick? We could have got Bill Belichick and bro, oh boy, our lives, our franchise would have been saved. But nah, let's go get Dan Quinn, who played with our ops, the command, uh, the, the cowgirls, and let's bring him a board, uh, a headboard, and let's make him the face of the team. <laughs> goofy, this goofy behavior. The last time we saw him was in a playoff game where the Dallas Cowboys defense looked horrific. That was our last vision of him. Now, obviously, he's improved the defense by leaps and bounds over the years with the Dallas Cowboys. He had the personnel in place. Uh, but in moments where it really, really counted, they came up short. Um, to me, if you're a division rival within the NFC East, and that's the backdrop for it, for that to be your hire, eh, I mean, it's not a bad hire. I certainly don't mean to imply that. Um, but I would have much rather preferred Dan Quinn remaining 
as the defensive coordinator in Dallas and going back to try and make amends for the horrific performance that they had put forth in the NFC wildcard playoff game against the Green Bay Packers. That's what I would have preferred personally. That's not what happened. Again, I'm not saying that the man can't coach. I'm not saying that the man doesn't deserve a job. I'm not even saying he doesn't deserve a The volume is low, fellas, so but an uh, NFC hopefully y'all can still here. Coming off what I it's saw. my headphones do. as well. Am I excited about this hire for the nation's capital? No. Okay, before you guys weigh in, I want to bring in Mina Kimes. Mina, do you have me? Oh, there she is. Hi, Mina. Good morning. What are your thoughts hey. on the commanders hiring Dan yeah. Quinn as their head coach? I think there are pros and cons. Uh, here, Stephen A., I understand that the last we saw of Dan Quinn's defense, it wasn't very pretty. I think oh, personnel issues factored into that and matchups as well. I, I do think he deserves a lot of credit, not just for how good this Cowboys defense has been under him, but the fact that he has pivoted as a play caller uh, from the scheme he used to run in Seattle, that cover three in Atlanta, you saw in Dallas, he innovated, he made adjustments based on the players he had. Those are qualities I like in a head coach, frankly, that ability to continue evolving and that's sorely needed in Washington, given how bad that defense was last year, how much they need talent. But I think my hesitation, and this is why it's sort of an unfinished grade for me is, was our defense bad or does our defense need talent? Which one is it? Which one which one is it? She said how bad we need talent. Is is it, it bro, I see talent on my defense. I see a lot of talent on my defense. This just not too long ago, I wanna say 2020, 2021, I, just not too long ago, we had one of the best D lines in the league. So is it our talent or is it our coaching? Bro, Rivera, we know how trash he was, he is and was. Okay, good riddance. But you replace him with Dan Quinn, who 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 has not, who 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 whose reputation is twenty eight and three. I mean, can't be serious. They need talent, but I think my hesitation, and this is why it's sort of an unfinished grade for me, is the most important job he has. The most important thing when it pertains to the Commanders this season. Is nailing that quarterback pick at number two mm -hmm. and then building an offense <clears throat> around that quarterback, nurturing him, facilitating. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have an offensive coach. You can. Okay, I didn't mean to pause it right here because I want her to talk and want her whole thought to be processed while me cutting her off. So I, I apologize for pausing the video. But bro, why do we have to get a quarterback? Did we give on did we give up on Sam Howell that quickly? I like Sammy Boy. I love Sam Howell, man. Now, dog, if we get Caleb Williams and he don't come and, and perform better than or even to Sam Howell, it's gonna be trouble. If Sam Howell got protection and, and, and wasn't afraid of getting hit, because I ain't gonna lie to you, he, he had some PTSD in the pocket. Cause sometimes he was he was all alone in the pocket. All he could do was take his time. But he thought somebody was coming from his right side, and he got a little jittery. I understand it. He got PTSD. That's like getting hit by a truck, and you you see a truck, you gonna flinch. You know what I mean? Even though the truck not coming towards you, you gonna still flinch. I get it. I understand. But are we are we are we a hundred percent sure that a quarterback would solve our problems? Specifically, Caleb Williams. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that, bro. I love Sam Howell. I love Sam Howell. If y'all gonna tell me Kayla Williams is gonna be CJ Stroud or better, then okay, get him up. But I, I'm not sure about that. I'm just not. You look at Houston, where D'Amico Ryan's brought Bobby Sloak, and they did such a fantastic job with CJ Stroud. But it does mean that Dan Quinn has to absolutely nail the offensive coordinator hire. <laughs> And I'm a little bit worried about his ability to do so because the further this thing goes on, and this is late in the cycle, of course, he's the last coach, uh, head coach hired, there aren't as many options, and there's no obvious candidate the way Slowick was with D'Amico Ryans. Yeah, that my issue, you know, I talked to sources inside the building, outside the building yesterday, and Yo, everybody thought a week nice. ago, two weeks ago, it was like, oh, Ben Johnson is going to be the guy. But Ben Johnson, I was told, didn't, Interview. Nice. I like her. He went, the team wasn't sold on Ben Johnson. And Dan Quinn came in, interviewed well. Um, you know, I think the, I'm not surprised he's the head coach. What does worry me about the search taking so long is, as Mina said, now all the top OC and DCs yeah. have been snatched up. 
So when you want a fan base right now with new ownership, you don't, like, is Sam Howell the quarterback? Is that where we're going? What are we doing? What are you going to do it to? Are you going to bring a new guy in? Who's the guy? Do you nail that pick? Now you have a head coach who now, like, they're trying to um, reinvigorate this fan base that has stuck with his team through so much, the Dan Snyder era, everything, and a lot of losing. Uh, Ron Rivera was a player's coach. Guys loved him. But the difference here with Quinn and the way this structure is set up now is they have Where's a tomorrow? true GM in Adam Peters. We talk about the personnel high. This is a huge draft for a first-time GM. Granted, he came from San Francisco. They know what they're doing. But they have to nail this pick. But at least Dan Quinn, now he will have input on the draft and all that. But it's, it's not going to be the same amount of power that Ron Rivera had from a personnel standpoint. I think that's what a lot of people criticize Ron for. The personnel plus the players on the field, the production wasn't where it needed to be. I give that. So here's I, I got plus and minus. So the take. plus is you obviously take away from a division of foe in the Dallas Cowboys. We know we saw the work that Dan Quinn put in. As far I'm sorry, as but what what good does it does my commanders to take away and keep on taking away from all our divisional rivals, all our divisional ops? What good is it doing my commanders taking away from this guy, taking away from that team? Like, what, 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 we ain't got nothing to show for it. Can we go somewhere else outside of the trash-ass NFC East? There's no team that's good or, 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 or scary in the NFC East. There's nobody I'm afraid of. When, it's, when we talk about going to the Super Bowl, bro, NFC East teams are out of my mind. I don't think I'm a, I don't think about them. I don't bring them. I don't bring them to the table. The Eagles. I told that the Eagles frauds. What they do? Get exposed. The Cowgirls. What have they been doing? They been winning, winning, winning. Oh, they trip. Winning, winning, winning. Trip again. Oh man, these boys are trash. <laughs> you just you can you can tell. They ain't got the DNA. There's no, bro, we got to stop doing that, man. That's our downfall. And I thought when Dan Snyder got the hell out of the office, things would change. Things ain't changed. The Dallas Cowboys and their defense, they got tremendously better under Dan Quinn. I know the last time we saw the Cowboys defense, they got shellacked by the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. But make no mistake about it, that defense got mm -hmm. a lot better under Dan Quinn. So I think that's a plus as far as being in the same division. Yeah, better. They got blown out in the first round. Okay. They got blown out in the first round. First round, guys. But it's they the got fact better. that he's the last hire. Offensive coordinator <laughs> spots are being dropped. Everyone's been everyone's been picking over mm -hmm. all the top coordinators. You got the number two pick in the draft. You have to hit on the quarterback. We can talk about defense. We can talk so about the quarterback. If you don't hit on the quarterback, you have no chance of being successful. So to me, that's the negative is Dan Quinn, this hiring being so late. What kind of offensive of staff is going to put together? Mm -hmm. Can they hit on the quarterback? I got my questions. All right, well, uh, okay. Um, they kind of broke it down for us, even though they was, like, kind of not direct with anything. Like, they kept talking about my commanders and not Dan Quinn. Like, what is Dan Quinn going to bring to my commanders? You know what I'm saying? But they kept bringing up, oh, quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. Dog, y'all ain't say nothing about the offensive line. That tells me y'all haven't watched my commanders enough. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, dog. Uh, let's get out of here, man. Y'all got my points and my thoughts. Y'all got their points and their thoughts. Let me know who you agree with more, man, myself or or one of them. I agree with her. For sure. For sure, for sure. She's fine. You can tell when she get up, she got the donka on. The guy! Anyways, bro, we out. Can they hit Next on video, the quarterback? Man. I got my questions.